Hey guys, so as many of you know, I'm currently working on a Sony PVM-20L5 in my shop here. And this is a uh, short little repair video. I've got the monitor apart, and today I wanted to go through quickly and talk a little bit more about the bezel and how to remove the bezel, and then uh, talk more about the anti-glare layer and some of the LED lights in there. And I just wanted to go through and walk through this with you in case you wanted to check uh, to see if you have monitors or the tube you have on your L5 still has the anti-glare layer or if you need to check something for another reason in the tube or just clean it. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is while I'm taking this thing apart, you have to take your time when it comes to this uh, bezel and really this entire L series monitor. There's a lot of plastic on this monitor. The bezel is plastic, of course, but other pieces inside are plastic. And the plastic that's in this just seems to be extra brittle sometimes. So you really need to take your time and make sure you're not forcing anything when it comes to screws. But there are those first four screws, two on each side that I just removed on this bezel. And then after that, I need to monitor this little uh, uh, button here because I don't want it to flop out or get bent and broke. It's on a single hinge there, you'll see in a second, uh, but you just want to try to get it out and then swing your whole bezel up like I just did because it's going to be attached with an adhesive foam tape at the top of the tube. So I wanted to look first at some LEDs because I had a Patreon member, a patron who was having trouble with the LEDs on his uh, 20L5 where the buttons were very dark and he could barely see them or maybe not see them at all. So there's two major things you want to check for. Uh, but if you have an issue, you're most likely going to need to get in behind the bezel like we just did and then try to make one of these repairs. So uh, this is an example. Now, this is just the tally light button, but these are what the little LED bulbs look like. Now, they are, could wear out if you have them running for an extremely long time. And if you've got a high-use monitor, then this might uh, these LEDs might need to be replaced. So that's something to check, and you can find that information in the service manual will have the exact part number on that board for that uh, LED if you want to make that change. And then uh, the, the, more, the easier thing you first want to check is you want to check the connectors back in here around the tube. And then there's a couple spots on this side circuit board where some cables will connect into that. And make sure... None of these cables have become disconnected because that will also be uh, uh, that means you're going to have a disconnection in something, and and then that could be the reason your buttons not work not working. But if your buttons actually when you press they do something, then most likely the bulbs have just burned out and need to be changed. Now you may be able to find a replacement bezel online if you want to order it. Now let's talk about the anti glare layer quickly. Um, this CRT that I've got here that I'm working on still does have the anti-glare layer. I'm going to zoom in here and try to show it to you more clearly and, and focus a little bit on it, but it's just generally you could tell you'll see a slight line where the layer is still on there. It's like a lens, but uh, here's another picture of it. Maybe you could see a little bit better. See how there's a line right here in between the glass and the uh, well, just right there on the outside of the glass. See how there's a line there? That's where the anti-glare uh, anti layer slash screen protector is. And so if you just want to check to see if your monitor still has this anti-glare layer, uh, you can pull your bezel up and just check under there and see right there. And that would be on for any L5 series. And then most of the BVMs that are newer are going to have this layer too, so you can remove the bezel on there and check as well. And you can also check the 20M4s if you have a newer 20M4, but probably most likely it's not going to be on the 20M4 if you have an older uh, version of that monitor. You probably don't have the layer anymore. So if we go back for a second to this video I did on the Sony BVM-D5, 
14 H5U restoration. There was actually a chip in the screen on there, and this monitor had the anti-glare layer here. You can see it again. This is a little bit easier to see because I've actually pried up a little corner. And all it took to get that up was just a little pull uh, from the tip, you know, stick my tip of my X-Acto knife in there. And I was able to just push the lens layer up a little bit and then slowly pry it back with my fingers until I could get a good size portion of it in the corner. And it, it pretty much came off with one solid pull. You will notice the screen is, it looks a touch lighter um, when you look at it, but if you have a big chip like that in your screen, which sometimes is the case with these L series and the other BVMs, then it's it's worth it to get rid of it. And you're not gonna see a big, big, huge problem in your screen difference. You know, if you sit them side by side, you may not you may be able to tell if you have really good vision and you're looking for it, but if you didn't know um, it was it was taken off, the, it would be hard to just guess. You'd pretty much have to get on there and look at the uh, take the bezel off to check and see on the tube to make sure whether the layer is still there or not. The last thing I want to do is show you how to get this thing back together because again, you want to take your time when it comes to getting this whole thing back together so you don't mess up any plastic, especially like with this button. I actually found that it was easier to push the bezel into place and then stick the button in from the outside like I did there and try to tap it in and then get it connected right to this arm that you see up here. And then uh, after that, I, I went in and slight, slowly slid those screws back into place, those four on the corners, so it wouldn't uh, put any pressure on that arm assembly because this stuff, you can tell this plastic, uh, it's I'm taking care to not damage it when I'm just working on it, but if it's been shipped, that's that's generally something that that whole assembly can get destroyed really easily and the bezel can be damaged really easily. So you wanna make sure that you do it uh, right and you know take your time again don't don't you know force this bezel back into place just make sure it's slid back on the frame nicely if you're going to remove it um, last big warning i want to give you is on the screen here if you do have the anti-glare layer in place uh, don't use any harsh screen chemical cleaners or solvents on your on your layer because that will make it have like a shiny you know blurry effect on there you don't want that so don't use any harsh chemicals there's specialty chemicals you can use for that but if the layer's gone you could go ahead and change it over to like windex and spray it on the towel and wipe it on there with the layer gone but not with it on there so that's pretty much it for this restoration portion. This is just a short little video to bridge between the next couple of videos. There will be more to come on the 20L5, so make sure you've hit the subscription button. And um, if you did miss the other videos, there's going to be a link to the end uh, or at the end of the video right here on where you can go catch back up. I'm Steve. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time with some more retro content.